Hey, so we're heading down to St. George right now. I gotta go pick up Cody, we'll meet her tomorrow, and uh, probably in the morning. Maybe I'll see her tonight, we'll see. But we're gonna go have a fun adventure. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, we've got a couple of different ideas, but we'll let you know what that is when the time is right. But as for now, I got about three and a half hours of driving ahead of me, so. Oh, and I'm in the, uh, I'm in the Element Micro Camper right now. We're gonna we're gonna do a little camping out here in the in the Element. So it should be a fun trip. All right. So I made it to St. George. It's now the next day. I picked up a beautiful guest. <laughs> Not a guest. Um, so we've got Cody. It is about midday on, uh, well, the following day. And now we're headed to go and get some groceries and some fuel. And then we're just gonna head out and see what we can find. I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna be yet, but uh, I think we're kind of on the hunt for um, some beautiful wildflowers out in the desert. So, and then whatever else comes our way, we'll take it. It's gonna be great. We have arrived. We are in Joshua Tree National Reserve. So not to be confused with the actual Joshua Tree National Park. It's like a miniature version though. So look, and also we need to introduce you to our new, like, well it's not our new, we got it last year, but our fun little camper mobile. We will give you a little tour inside so you can see kind of how we have it set up. But we're excited because it's an easy way for us to just kind of pick up, go, have a little more of a glamping experience, um, and be able to come to cool places like this. So I want you to take a look at where we are and kind of the camp sp spot that we've chosen. I don't know if it's the best one that's here, but there's several little campsites that are kind of scattered around this little reserve. Um, and it's fun. It's got a little fire pit and it's got beautiful views all around. We're overlooking Arizona. We are in Utah. And then you can look up and see like beautiful canyons and mountains. And then we're surrounded by Joshua trees, which is, this is apparently the only place that these grow other than in Joshua Tree National Park. So we have ventured out to uh, do a little hiking. See if we can come across some fun stuff. We did find some things right by camp that were pretty cool. Up on top of the Joshua trees, we found some, some flowers blooming at the top of the tree. But now we thought we'd come out and get a closer look at some of the cactus, cacti that's out here. This is a makeshift hat because I forgot my hat. So oh yeah, makeshift. Middle of the day and super sunny and I don't want to get sunburned. Um, there's not a lot of flowers right now, but there's a few that really stand out. So this one right here is called Indian Paintbrush. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely. I have no idea what this cactus name is, but I bet you in a couple of weeks, all of these are gonna be stunning. That's the thing, it's like all of this great rain we've had over the winter is really setting us up to have a beautiful spring in the desert. So we went out to try to get down to where I thought there might've been some water, but it's all, like fenced off and gated and everything. It's it's a like a it's a, torta, a tortoise reserve. Yeah, study yeah, it's a reserve. Area, study so, area. Yeah, study area. Mm -hmm. You know, so that they can 
monitor the wildlife and and the plant life things like that which is totally great i get it ah, look we want yeah Not all of this preserved it's pretty cool i would love to see a tortoise that would be cool yeah yeah and you never know they say that if you see one to report it so that they can like say where you were how but, would we yeah. know where we are well i think <laughs> We would just Roughly, mark it. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, it's hot. Yeah. We're not used to it because up where we live. It's winter. It's yeah, snowing. Yeah, it was snowing two days ago, so. That's why I'm like covering myself oh. up like an old lady because. Now we're down here and my it's like. My skin is like, <laughs> what is this thing you call sun? What is this 90 degrees? Yeah. That feels so good. Yeah, it feels We amazing. needed it. <laughs> or we need it. So as you come into the park or into the conservation lands, you find this sign and it kind of breaks down like the different sections of the conservation area. It shows where you are. It shows the Joshua Tree National Landmark. But yeah, really cool, cool spot. And hopefully you get to see one of those guys. So I thought I'd walk out here really close to where we're camping and show you these blooms that are coming out of the Joshua tree. They are stunning. It looks really, really cool. Let me zoom that in a little bit. There you go. Isn't that cool? So, These, yeah, let's come around to this side if I can do this without pricking myself horribly. I'll pick one of these. So, it's an actual little flower of the desert. And they're really, really cool. They feel like rubber. They're holding so much water. It's amazing. Yeah, super cool. So, it's another beautiful day here in Southern Utah. And now we are just south of Gunlock Reservoir. Found a nice spot that backs up here to the flowing water. You can see how this is all flooded. We'll go into more of this later, but pretty awesome spot. So yeah, this water flows down from the Gunlock Reservoir and this year with all the, well, it's the all-time record snowpack and water that has come down. This was flooded severely. So like where I'm standing right now was based on what I see over on the sides would have probably been about two feet underwater but it's super wide. You can see that all the way across there. Super cool spot that you can see how close we are to the, to the element, to Little Red. But yeah, this is amazing. Still not the cleanest water because of the, um, the amount of silt that was churned up. But you can see like the downed trees and everything like that but it's really a cool spot looks like cody's off exploring i'm gonna go join her hey babe what are you doing I'm preparing some 
Firewood. Firewood? Oh, yes. Wow. Nice. Yeah, this is cool how it's like right up against the rocks over there. Have to explore that later too. Yeah, prime spot. Are you kidding me? We get to look out the back of the the element and look at this. It's gonna be a nice day. So this is the first time this year that I've put my feet in the water and it felt amazing. So nice, it's very cold, but you know, maybe a cold plunge will come later on this evening. You never know. We do a lot of that. We just don't do the, well, you do the river plunging, which I've never done. I do cold plunges at home or cold showers and that seems to do the trick for me, so. This could be your first river plunge. It might just be. There is a couple down this way. So I'm gonna have to be discreet. I do have shorts, obviously, but I don't want anybody to be scared off out here in the wilderness. You should go naked. Go naked. No, I will never do that. I'm gonna walk around the bend here. See how far I can get, I don't know. But it looks like the water's right up against these cool red rock cliffs. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take you along. Yeah, I guess that's as far as I can go. Bummer. Yeah, it's cool. It's right down below these cliffs. It's such a beautiful area. Sun's starting to go down. gonna be a good night's sleep tonight so this epic spot already had a nice fire pit so I think I'm gonna come on over sit down and enjoy it mm. oh it feels good yeah So we made our way up to the to the Gunlock Falls, which is obviously at the uh, south end of the Gunlock Reservoir. So we're gonna hike up to the falls right now. I'll show you what that looks like. So this really gets you a good view of what's going on. You see there's a few people here this morning. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'll still speak. Yeah, I was saying there's a few people here this morning. This is a very popular attraction because you really need a lot of rain to come down to even allow this to be possible. Otherwise the reservoir is just way too low. So this sometimes will only happen once every few years.
been meaning to show you the sand here in this area. I'll get up here in the sun. It is the super fine red sand. You can see like, it is just super powdery, but just beautiful. All right, we're at the top of Denmark Falls and where we were camping last night is literally just down the stream, just around the bend. Um, so it made for a beautiful, peaceful camping spot last night. We slept really good. And then what a great way to come and enjoy our morning and the sunrise to come and talk, hike to the top of the falls. And it's really pretty incredible. It doesn't happen all year round, down, just this time of year. And it just so happens that this year we've had a lot of rain. So it's even extra spectacular. So this is now up at the reservoir. You see how it's cresting over and then it makes its way down this upper plateau right to where that drops off right there. That's where we just were. All right, so we are now just walking around the Gunlock Reservoir a little bit. So this is a state park in Utah. They do have campsites available. There is some hiking, obviously, around in some different places. But super accessible. This is not far outside of St. George. But you can see, I'll kind of just turn here. It really is a nice little reservoir. Sorry, we're looking right in the sun, so we're squinting a little bit. But this has been a great morning. All right, super fun getaway, hun. Enjoyed this time. It's not something that uh, took a lot of effort, but you know, sometimes you just put these kind of moments off when really all you have to do is just, just commit. Decide you're gonna go and have some fun together because having fun is so important. It's great for your relationship, it's good for your health, and it just makes life so much better. So we'll end it here. Southern Utah never disappoints. Nope. We'll see you on the next one.